ஸ்ரீ சாய் சச்சரிதா சாப்டர் சிக்ஸ்டீன் அண்ட் செவன்டீன் குவிக் பிரம்மக்யான் தீஸ் டூ சாப்டர்ஸ் ரிலேட் த ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் அ ரிச் ஜென்டில் மேன் ஹூ வாண்டட் பிரம்மக்யான் குவிக்லி ஃப்ரம் சாய் பாபா பிரிலிமினரி த லாஸ்ட் சாப்டர் டிஸ்கிரைப் ஹவு மிஸ்டர் சோல்கர்ஸ் வவ் ஆஃப் ஸ்மால் ஆஃபரிங் விஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் அண்ட் அக்செப்டட் இன் தட் ஸ்டோரி சாய் பாபா ஷோர் தட் ஹீ வுட் அக்செப்ட் வித் அப்ரிசியேஷன் எனி ஸ்மால் திங் offered with love and devotion but if the same thing was offered with pride and ordinance he would reject it being himself full of satchit anand pure consciousness knowledge and bliss he did not care much for mere outward formalities but if an offering was made in a humble spirit the same was welcome and he accepted it with pleasure and avidity in fact there is no person more generous and benevolent than a sadguru like sai baba He cannot be compared to the Chintamani jewel, the Kalpatru, the celestial tree which fulfills our desires, or the Kamadenu, the celestial cow which yields what we desire. They give us only what we desire, but the Sadguru gives us the most precious thing that is inconceivable and inscrutable, the reality. Now let us hear how Sai Baba disposed of a rich man who came to him and implored him to give him Brahma Gyan. There was a rich gentleman unfortunately his name and whereabouts are not mentioned who was very prosperous in his life he had amassed a large quantity of wealth houses and lands and had many servants and dependents when baba's fame reached his ears he said to a friend of his that he was not in want of anything and so he would go to shirdi and ask baba to give him brahma gyan which if he got would certainly make him more happy his friend disordered him saying it is not easy to know brahma and especially so far an avaricious man like you who is always engrossed in wealth wife and children who will in your quest of brahma gyan satisfy you who does not give away even a paisa in charity not minding his friend's advice the fellow engaged a return journey tonga and came to shirdi he came to the masjid saw sai baba fell at his feet and said Baba hearing that you show brahma to all who come to you i too have come here all the way from my distant place i am much fatigued by the journey and if i get brahma gyan from you my troubles will be well paid and rewarded baba then replied oh my dear friend do not be anxious i shall show you brahma many people come to me and ask for wealth health power honor position cure of diseases and other temporal matters Rare is the person who comes to me and asks for Brahma Gyan. There is no dearth of people asking for worldly things, but people interested in spiritual matters are very rare. I think it is a fortunate and auspicious moment when persons like you come and ask me for Brahma Gyan. So forthwith, I show to you with pleasure Brahma with all its accompaniments and complexities. Saying this, Baba started to show him Brahma. He made him sit there and engaged him in some other talk and thus, made him forget his question for the time being then he called a boy and told him to go to a nandu marwadi and get him a loan of rupees 5 the boy left and returned immediately saying that nandu was absent and his house was locked then baba asked him to go to bala grocer and get from him the said loan this time also the boy was unsuccessful this experiment was repeated again twice or thrice with the same result Sai Baba was as we know the living and moving Brahma incarnate then someone may ask why did he want the paltry sum of 5 rupees and why did he try hard to get it in reality he did not want the sum at all he must have known fully that Nandu and Bala were absent and he seemed to have adopted this procedure as a test for the seeker of Brahma that gentleman had a roll or bundle of currency notes in his pocket and if he was really earnest he would not have sat quiet and be a mere onlooker when baba was frantically trying to get a paltry sum of rupees 5 he knew that baba would keep his word and repay the debt and that the sum wanted was insignificant still he could not make up his mind and advance the sum such a man wanted from baba the greatest thing in the world was the brahma gyan Any other man who really loved Baba would have given to him rupees 5 at once instead of being a mere onlooker. It was otherwise with this man. He advanced no money nor did he sit silent but began to be impatient as he was in a haste to return and implored Baba saying, "Oh Baba, please give me Brahma gyan soon." Baba replied, "Oh my dear friend, did you not understand all the procedure that I went through?" sitting in this place for enabling you to see brahma 
it is in short this for seeing brahma one has to give five things that is surrender five things this one five pranas vital forces two five senses three mind four intellect and five ego this path of brahma gyan or self realization is as hard as treading on the edge of a razor sai baba then gave a rather long discourse on the subject the purport of which is given below qualifications for brahma gyan or self realization all persons do not see or realize the brahma in their lifetime certain qualifications are absolutely necessary one mumukshu or intense desire to get free he who thinks that he is bound and that he should get free from bondage and works earnestly and resolutely to that end and does not care for any other thing is qualified for the spiritual life the a feeling of non attachment with the things of this world and of the, or the virakti or a feeling of non attachment with the things of this world and the next unless a man feels disgusted with the things emoluments and honors which his actions would bring in this world and the next he has no right to enter into the spiritual realm antarmuga introversion our senses have been created by god with a tendency to move outward and so man always look outward and not inward he who wants self realization and immortal life must turn his gaze inwards and look to his inner self catharsis eliminating all base ideas and emotions unless a man has turned away from wickedness and stopped from doing wrong and has entirely composed himself and unless his mind is at rest he cannot gain self realization even by means of knowledge right conduct unless a man leads a life of truth penance and insight a life of celibacy he cannot get god realization preferring shreyas the good to prayas the pleasant there are two sort of things with the good and the pleasant the former deals with spiritual affairs and the later with mundane matters both these are open to man for acceptance he has to think and choose one of them the wise man prefers the good to the pleasant but the unwise through greed and attachment chooses the pleasant control of the mind and the senses the body is the chariot and the self is its master intellect is the charioteer and the mind is the reins the senses are the horses and sense objects are their parts he who has no understanding and whose mind is unrestrained has the senses unmanageable like the stray horse of a charioteer does not reach his destination gets self realization but goes to the round of births and deaths he who has understanding and whose mind is restrained has the senses under control like the good obedient horse of a charioteer reaches the destination that is the state of self realization whence he is not born again the man who has understanding has his charioteer guide and is able to rein his mind reaches the end of the journey which is the supreme abode of the all pervading vishnu lord purification of the mind unless a man discharges satisfactorily and disinterestedly the duties of a station in life his mind will not be purified and unless his mind is purified he cannot get self realization it is only in the purified mind that vivek this attachment of the unreal crop up and lead to self realization unless egoism is dropped avarice got rid of and the mind made designless pure self realization is not possible the idea that i am the body is a great delusion and attachment to this idea is the cause of bondage leave off this idea and attachment therefore if you want to reach the goal of self realization the necessity of a guru the knowledge of the self is so subtle and mystic that no one can by his own individual effort ever hope to attain it so the help of another person teacher who has himself got self realization is absolutely necessary what others cannot give with great effort and pains can be easily gained with the help of such a teacher for he has walked on the path himself and can easily take the disciple step by step on the ladder of spiritual progress and lastly grace of the lord is the most essential thing when the lord is pleased with anybody he gives him viveka and vairagya and takes him safe beyond the ocean of mundane existence the self cannot be gained by the study of vedas nor by intellect nor by learning he whom the self chooses gains it to him the self reveals its nature says the katha upanishad after the dissertation was over baba turned to the gentleman and said 
well sir there is in your pocket the brahma in form of 50 times of 5 rupees 250 rupees please take that out the gentleman took out from his pocket the bundle of currency notes and to his great surprise found on counting them that there were 25 notes of 10 rupees each seeing this omniscience of baba he was moved and fell at baba's feet and prayed for his blessings then baba said to him roll up your bundle of brahma with currency notes unless you completely get rid of your avarice or greed you will not get the real brahma how can he choose mind is enclosed in wealth progeny and prosperity expect to know the brahma without removing his attachment for them the illusion of attachment or the love for money is a deep eddy whirlpool of pain full of crocodiles in the form of conceit and jealousy he who is desireless can alone cross this whirlpool greed and brahma are ascender as poles they are eternally opposed to each other where there is greed there is no room for thought or meditation of the brahma then how can a greedy man get dispassion and salvation for a greedy man there is no peace neither contentment nor steadiness if there be even a little trace of greed in mind all the sadhana spiritual endeavors are of no avail even the knowledge of a well read man who is not free from the desire of the fruit or reward of his actions is futile and can't help him in getting self realization the teachings of a guru are of no use to a man who is full of egoism and who always thinks about the sense objects purification of mind is absolutely necessary without it all our spiritual endeavors are nothing but useless show and form it is therefore better for one to take only what he can digest and assimilate my treasury is full and i can give anyone what he wants but i have to see whether he is qualified to receive my gift if you listen to me carefully you will be certainly benefited while sitting in this masjid i never speak any untruth when a guest is invited to a house all the members of the household and other friends and relations that happen to be present are entertained along with the guest so all those that were present in the masjid at that time could partake of the spiritual feast that was served by baba for the rich gentleman after getting baba's blessings one and all including the gentleman left the place quite happy and contented special characteristics of baba there are many saints who leaving their houses stay in forests caves or hermitages and in solitude in order to get liberation or salvations for themselves they do not care for other people and are always self absorbed sai baba was not of such a type he has no home no wife no progeny nor any relations near or distant still he lived in the world society he begged his bread from four or five houses always lived at the foot of the neem tree carried on worldly dealings and taught all the people how to act and behave living in this world rare are the sadhus and saints who after attaining god vision strive for the welfare of the people sai baba was the foremost of these and therefore says hemant pan blessed is the country blessed is the family and blessed are the chaste parents where this extraordinary transcendent precious and pure jewel sai baba was born bo to shri sai peace be to all